The Anunnaki, as defined by the Sumerians, were those who came down from the heavens. According to the unconventional theories of Zechariah Sitchin, a controversial author whose work has intrigued and confounded researchers for decades, these beings hailed from an elusive planet within our solar system. Their mission on Earth, Sitchin postulated, was to mine gold, a precious resource that held the key to the survival of their home planet. The saga begins some 450,000 years ago on Nibiru, a distant celestial member of our solar system. As life on Nibiru faced slow extinction due to atmospheric erosion, Alalu, a deposed ruler, embarked on a journey to Earth in search of salvation. It was on our planet that he discovered the coveted gold, capable of preserving Nibiru's atmosphere. Approximately 445,000 years ago, the Anunnaki, under the leadership of Enki, a son of Anu, arrived on Earth. They established Eridu, also known as Earth Station One, along the shores of the Persian Gulf, where they began the extraction of gold from its waters. Over time, Earth's climate mellowed, and more Anunnaki descended upon our planet. Among them was Ninhursag, the chief medical officer and half-sister of Enki. Their sophisticated civilization flourished as they continued their gold mining operations. However, as the demand for gold grew, challenges arose. Anu, the ruler of Nibiru, arrived on Earth with his heir apparent, Enlil. It was decided that the solution to their gold woes lay in southern Africa, where vast deposits awaited extraction. Enlil won the command of Earth mission through a lottery, relegating Enki to Africa. The next chapter in this epic unfolds some 400,000 years ago, when the Anunnaki toiling in the gold mines staged a mutiny. Enki and Ninhurseg, using genetic manipulation of an ape woman, created a hybrid species known as Homo sapiens. This act marked a pivotal moment, as these new beings were capable of procreation. As millennia passed, Earth's climate experienced fluctuations, from glacial periods to warming phases. The Anunnaki, or the Nephilim as they are referred to in biblical texts, intermingled with humanity, giving rise to accounts of gods and demigods in human history. Around 13,000 years ago, a cataclysmic event loomed on the horizon. Enlil, aware of the impending disaster that the passage of Nibiru near Earth would bring, made the Anunnaki swear to keep this knowledge from humanity. This event, known as the Deluge, was witnessed by the Anunnaki from their orbiting spacecraft. In the aftermath of the Deluge, Enki broke the oath and instructed Zeusudra, known as Noah in biblical accounts, to construct a submersible ship. This act ensured the survival of a portion of humanity and laid the foundation for the post-diluvial world. As time marched forward, the Anunnaki continued to shape human civilization. They granted humanity knowledge and advanced technology, fostering the Neolithic period and the rise of urban civilization in Sumer. Kingships were established, and gods walked among mortals. Yet, conflicts within the Anunnaki ranks, such as the Marduk-Inanna rivalry, led to wars and power shifts. The Great Pyramid of Giza, once a center of their activities, was emptied of its equipment. Eventually, peace was brokered, and the division of Earth was reaffirmed. The timeline extends further, marking the ascent of human kingship in various regions, including Egypt and Sumer. Dynasties rose and fell, gods and goddesses exerted their influence, and human civilization evolved. This narrative, though unconventional, offers a glimpse into a world where extraterrestrial beings may have played a significant role in shaping the course of human history. Whether one accepts or dismisses the claims of the Anunnaki's existence, their story remains an enduring enigma that continues to challenge our understanding of the past.